Hey, what's up guys, Scamfifi here, and welcome to this second Inform Aguero review. Now, a massive thank you to Dean DHD, a friend of mine who was kind enough to lend me his account, in which, you can, as you can see, he packed him. Now, my record with Aguero was six games, seven goals, and one assist. Now, that sounds like a not-so-great record, but I've got to say, Aguero took some getting used to, and once I got used to him, he felt a lot more effective. So, like, the first two or three games, I'm not going to lie, I struggled to get used to him. But look at his card, 91 pace, 93 dribbling, 92 shooting, 81 passing, 72 physical. Some absolutely insane attributes, along with those high, high work rates and four star, four star, I mean high, low work rates, sorry. But still, Aguero, absolutely insane in FIFA. Love his normal card. Let's get in some in game attributes. And as you can see, 95 finish noise card. I actually expected the card to have a lot higher. 90 shot power, which is very nice. 92 ball control. Some absolutely insane attributes. I honestly do not know uh, where to talk about those. We've got 95 finishing, 94 dribbling. His dribbling's insane. It really, really is. Once you get run with this guy, he's so freaking quick and so freaking fast. But uh, I have got to say, I did feel, feel a little let down by his strength. I expect him to be a bit stronger in the game. I know he's 5 for 8 and he has something like, I think it's 74 strength, but um, I expect him to put up a fight, and when he came up against, like, decently strength defenders, they just battered him at times, which obviously was a bit frustrating, I expected a bit more fight from Aguero, but um, I actually found him to be really effective from the kickoff, like, people just couldn't stop him because of the dribbling, he keeps the ball so close to him, and defenders just find it hard to take it off him, and he makes great runs as well, high-low work rates, keep him upfield, and he'll make good attacking runs, and when he gets in, in and around the box, he's going to score, his finishing is great, with the shot power, with the finesse, it is just so freaking lethal, uh, especially the finesse, as I say, in and around the box, use that finesse, you will score goals from inside and outside the box, which is awesome. Now we come on to his heading. Now his heading was actually decent. Obviously didn't win too many headers, but um, his heading was actually good when he did um, eventually attack the ball and yeah, as I say, get some on target quite a bit. But with him being so small, obviously that's not um, exactly one of his strong points, but uh, definitely the dribbling being the best thing for me. Pace wise, as I say, very quick. Dribbling's awesome. So just th those two combined just make him so freaking lethal to run with. Shooting, I've got no issues with any form of shooting. To my his long shots are decent, nothing spectacular, but for what he is, it's decent his finishing is incredible his finesse is awesome and um yeah just pretty damn good his passing very good once more short passing good for link up play getting up the field partnering up top with a strong tall striker and uh, one two you out the field and you will definitely score and uh, in this game especially i was impressed with aguero because it was so freaking hard to see because i just saw it as a kick clash but um aguero was performing no complaints there overall i've given second in form aguero a 9.9 .9 out of 10 for me, just didn't feel like the perfect striker and sometimes did get a bit bullied by the defence. But still, in and around the box, very clinical, very fun to use. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's my review of Second Inform Aguero. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. Make sure to check out the previous reviews on the channel. Apart from that, have a very good day. Adios!